This is Houston in the 1960s, full of growth and promise. As large cars made their way down the Gulf Freeway, a construction project 22 miles southeast was underway that would help make history. In 1964, the Manned Spacecraft Center, now known as the Johnson Space Center, opened. But NASA didn't wait until then to move to Houston. NASA logos, signs, and space vehicles started to arrive in 1962, a discovery Burton Chapman made as he researched his book, Telephone Road, Texas. Everywhere I turn almost in southeast Houston, there's NASA. Chapman found these buildings along the Gulf Freeway were used by NASA for a variety of reasons, including public affairs, space vehicle testing, and where astronauts conducted work. These were like astronaut offices? Yes, astronauts had offices in this building. Here are the astronauts, including Alan Shepard, the first American in space, behind the NASA headquarters sign. The sign and building are still there, housed now by the Houston Parks and Recreation Department. NASA remains are still found inside the building as well. The Parks and Rec Department still uses NASA's conference room table. A very breathtaking spot to be in. NASA employees didn't just work in Southeast Houston, they live there too. Take this neighborhood at Regal and Welk Street. Apollo 11 flight director Gene Kranz called this flight controller alley. Controller Ed Findell remembers it well. If you had an engineering or math degree and you showed up, you were hired. Findell says many of his co-workers enjoyed their time in southeast Houston. It was great. You could go to lunch anywhere in Houston and run into somebody you knew. While the location beat rural Clear Lake, Findell says they couldn't wait to move into the new manned spacecraft center. That building we worked in was falling apart. The air conditioner used to run water under your desk half the time. Today, the only sign letting people know Southeast Houston's space race role can be found at the Parks and Rec Department. Some of the buildings are unoccupied, others under construction or for sale. While they may not be as state-of-the-art as JSC, Chapman says Houstonians should treasure how the city helped accomplish the impossible. Definitely something to be proud of, that they were ready and available and willing to help at the height of the space race.